हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज सविता पवार वेलकम टू माय चैनल गेट द मैथ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 14.3 ऑफ लेसन 14 स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा सो ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स इट इज वेल सेट दैट वन पिक्चर इज बेटर दैन थाउजेंड वर्ड्स so usually comparison among the individual items are best shown by means of graphs the representation then become easier to understand than the actual data so if you represent the data with a graph or with any figure that becomes easy to understand so there are three types of graphical representations we are going to study in this exercise first one is bar graph second is histogram and the third is frequency polygon bar graphs those are the pictorial representations of data in which usually bars of uniform width are drawn with equal spacing between them on one axis that is x axis and that is depicting the variable the value of the variable is shown on the other axis that is y axis and the height of the bar depend upon the values of the variable so this is your x axis and this is your y axis here so x axis always the variable that we are depicting here is the independent variable so here we are denoting it with the months of birth and this one that we are uh, naming as y axis that is that that will be always be the dependent variable so it is the number of the students in this case so these are these are the bar graphs so bar graphs means like columns so the height of the column depend upon the value of that particular uh, variable okay then comes the histogram this is the form of representation like the bar graph but it is continuous cross interval so this is a type of bar graph only but it is continuous you can see there is no gap between the uh, two bar graphs so that is a continuous bar graph it is called as the histogram now in histogram the variable that we are using on the x axis it will be also be continuous it will be in the class form of a class interval and the difference between the two class interval should be the same you can see here it is 5 this is also 5 this is also 5 here but if the difference from the 0 to the first variable is different than the between the two variables then you have to put a kink here this is the curve that is called as a kink if the difference between the zero and the first variable and the first and the second or the other variables is uh, different then it is we have to put a kink here next one third one is the frequency polygon we can draw frequency polygon by taking midpoints of the histogram bars and connecting them and we can also draw frequency polygon by plotting the class marks along with the horizontal axis and the frequencies along with the vertical axis and plotting and joining the points so frequency polygon can be drawn in two types first one is by taking the midpoints of the histogram so first we are if they are asking histogram as well as frequency polygon so it's become very easy you first draw the histogram as you are drawing it and then take the midpoints of each of the Uh, bar bar graph here each of the column here and then join them then it is called as the frequency polygon if histogram is not said to be drawn and only frequency polygon you have to draw then you have to find the class mark you have to find the class mark of the class interval and then plot that class mark of that class interval and then plot the points that becomes your frequency polygon now we are going to see it in the exercise let us start with exercise 14.3 the first question given here is it is a survey con conducted by an organization for the cause of illness and death among the women between the ages of 15 to 44 in years worldwide found for in the following figures in percentage so these are the causes that is reproductive health conditions neuro uh psychiatric conditions injuries cardiovascular conditions respiratory conditions and other causes and the death of the female fatality rate is in percentages 
25.4, 12 point 4, 4 point 3, 4 point 1, 22 point 0 respectively. Now these uh, these uh, data you have to represent on the graph. So which condition they are asking to de uh, denote it with the bar graph here? Which condition is the major cause of women's ill health and death worldwide that we have to say from the graph and try to find out. with the help of your teacher any two factors which will play a major role in the cause in being the or in the above being the major cause okay so this is your graph paper on the x axis here these are the causes i have written the name in short uh, for there is no space here and on the y axis it is a female fertility rate in percentage okay so leaving two two squares you can denote the particular cause and here i have taken the scale this is called as a scale here for one uh, square that is 1 cm 1 square means 1 cm it is 2 percentage here okay so that is the scale uh, then plot the graph for uh, this one first one is reproductive health condition so rhc reproductive reproductive health condition the percentage given is here 31.8 so this is nearly 31.8 here okay then the second one is neuropsychiatric condition so neuropsychiatric condition is 25.4 so this is nearly equal to 25.4 if you cannot plot the points it is well and good to plot the nearest number then injuries it is 12.4 so this is 12.4 here okay so this way you have to plot the graph for the first question now for the second point which condition is the major cause of women's uh, ill health and death worldwide so which is the major cause that you can see that one is 31.8 is reproductive health condition that is the answer for the second question then comes the second question here the following data on the number of girls to the nearest 10 per 1000 boys in different sections of indian society is given below so per 10000 boys the number of girls are for the scheduled caste 940 scheduled tribe 970 sc st non that is 920 backward district 950 non backward district 920 ruler 930 urban is 910 so represent this by bar graph special they have specified specified the name here as bar graph so you have to draw the bar graph only in the classroom discuss what confusions can be arise so this is the specific question that you can do in the classroom now see the this is this is your graph paper on the x axis write the variables those are depend independent that is sections sc st non s S C S T backward, non backward, and all. These are on the x axis. That is the section. On the y axis, it is number of girls per thousand boys. That is the frequency you can say. So for S C, it was nine forty. I have taken the scale. That is nine ten, nine twenty. It is difference of ten year. So this way you can plot the scale on the y axis and draw these graphs. okay so this is for st it is 970 for non sc st it is 920 and so on that was your question number 2 question number 3 is given below are the seats won by different political parties in polling outcome of a state assembly election so political parties are a b c d e f and their seats won are been given and so on here also you have to draw a bar graph to represent the polling results so this is the graph here you can see a b c d leaving if you can leave the uh, you have to leave one uh, square so as to get a neat and clean uh, graph so this is a b c d e f here and from zero on the y axis seats one so i have taken the scale as 1 cm equal to 10 percentage okay so these are the seats one 10 seats one okay so this is for a it was something near about 75 this is 75 between 70 and 80 it is 75 here for b 
it was 55 for c it is 38 37 and then d is 29 e is 10 and f is here 37 again so this is the bar graph for question number 3 second question they have asked in question number 3 is which political party won the maximum number of seats so which political party has won here maximum number of seats that is a so party a is the answer for that here is the length of 40 leaves of a plant are measured correct to 1 millimeter and the data obtained is represented in the following table so these are the length of the 40 leaves that are measured to correct 1 millimeter and the number of leaves that are that their measurements come between them you have to draw a histogram to represent the following data now in histogram you know it should be a continuous uh, continuous uh, series okay so now here in this uh, table you can see the upper limit and the lower limit of the next uh, class interval are not the same this is 126 and this is 127 so this is inclusive form so this inclusive form you have to convert into exclusive form by subtracting 0 0.5 from all the lower limits and adding 0 0.5 to all the upper limits so this becomes your now exclusive form of class interval and now this using this exclusive interval you can plot it on the graph paper so this is your graph paper here this is length in millimeter now this these are the class intervals in the exclusive form here okay i cannot write here the numbers uh, in a in a straight line so i have written here up and down and this is a king here because you can see the difference between 117.5 and 126.5 is less than the difference from 0 to 117.5. So you have to put a king. This is a curve here that is called as king. And on the y axis it is number of leaves. Okay. So now you can plot the graph here from 117.5 to 126.5 is 3 here. So you can see this is 3. Then this is 5 then comes 135 to 144 is 9 144 to 153 is 12 here then again 153 to 162 is 5 162 to 171 is 4 and 171 to 180.5 is 2 here okay then they are asking the question is there any suitable other suitable graphical representation of for the same data now as we have seen in the explanation uh, for histogram we can also draw the frequency polygon so using this histogram we can draw frequency polygon also the third question is is it correct to conclude that the maximum number of leaves are 153 millimeter long why so can we say that the maximum number of leaves are 153 millimeter long no we cannot say that it is only 153 because it is between the range of 145 to 153 it is not just 153 so the answer is no here question 5 is the following table gives the lifetime of 400 neon lamps so this is the lifetime of 400 neon lamps represented with the help of a histogram so this is your graph on the x axis I have taken the scale as 100, 200, 300, 400 and so on and on the y axis it is the number of lamps and this is life, lifetime. So you can plot the graph like this here, it is very easy one. So easily you can plot 14, then this is something 56 or 57, 56, 60, 86, 74, 62 and 48. So this is the graph. Second question they are asking how many lamps have a lifetime of more than 700. So more than 700. So all these three things you have to add 74 plus 62 plus 48 that becomes 184. Let us start with question 6 here. The following table gives the distribution of students of two sections 
according to the marks obtained by them so this is section a and section b so marks obtained are from 0 to 10 10 to 20 up to 50 and the frequency of section a and the frequency of section b now you can see the class intervals are in the exclusive form only so no need to convert but here they are asked to find the frequency polygon you have to draw the frequency polygon on the graph paper for this you need to find the class interval uh, you, you need to find the class mark so how to find the class mark here add these two number and divide by 2 so 0 plus 10 that is 10 divide by 2 is 5 so same here 10 plus 20 is 30 divided by 2 is 15 so that is the way to find the class mark that is you have to add the upper limit and the lower limit and divide by 2 you get the class mark then this is the section a and this is section b here now on the graph paper this is frequency and these are the marks so you have to plot on the x axis you have to plot the class marks here not the continuous range okay and the one and plot the points here like this you have to put a point and encircle it so and join the points that becomes your frequency polygon so for section a i have denoted it with a pink line and for section b it is a dotted line so in this way for two graphs of both the sections you can draw it on one graph paper okay The next question is here, the runs scored by two teams A and B on the first 60 balls in a cricket match are given below. So now you can see the number of balls here, you can see the table, it is in the inclusive form. This is 6 and this is 7 here. So convert it into exclusive form by subtracting 0.5 from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit. So this becomes your exclusive form here. Okay. And then since you have to draw the frequency polygon so you have to take the class mark of this so add this lower and upper limit of each range and divide it by 2 so 0 0.5 plus 6.5 becomes 7 7 by 2 is 3.5 so do this for all and these are the team a and team b frequencies okay so this is your graph here on the x axis you write the class marks that is number of balls and on the y axis it is frequency plot all the points like this you can see you have to plot all those points uh, for with the red that i have drawn is of team a and with the dotted line is of team b question 8 here is a random survey of the number of children of various age groups playing in a park was found as follows so these are number of children playing in the group uh, from age 1 to 2 is 5 children from 2 to 3 are 3 children 3 to 5 are 6 children and so on you have to draw a histogram so here you have to draw a histogram now since the page that i get from the net is of small size so i have drawn it outside this page but uh, your original graph paper will be big enough so you can plot all these points now here on the x axis it is age in years and on the y axis are the number of children and you have to plot the graph for the it is since it is histogram so it is a continuous bar graph that is called as a histogram so this way from 1 to 2 age it is 5 children from 2 to 3 age it is 3 children 3 to 5 it is 6 children then 5 to 7 it is 12 7 to 10 there are 9 children 10 to 15 there are 10 children and 15 to 17 there are 4 children so this is the graph of question number 8 that is histogram question number 9 is 100 surnames were randomly picked up from a local telephone directory and the frequency distribution of the number of letters in the English alphabet in the surnames was found as follows. So these are the number of letters from the dictionary and frequency of surnames are 6, 30, 44, 16 and 4. 
you have to draw the histogram to depict the given information and write the class interval in which the maximum number of surnames lie okay now here this is already in the exclusive form you can see 4 and 4 so upper limit and the next lower limit is the same so this is exclusive form now you can draw it on the x axis this is 2 4 6 8 10 12 so between 2 0 and 2 the 0 0.5 it will be the one here so from 1 to 4 is 6 4 to 6 is 30 okay now since number of uh, surnames on the y axis is up to 44 here the frequency is 44 now on the graph paper we cannot draw from 1 to 2 as 44 we have the limited space so i have taken one square as four units here so if one square is four in one square you have 10 lines so this becomes like this that 10 lines equal to 4 so one line will be 4 by 10 that is 2 by 5 means 0 0.4 so one line the next small line will be of value increasing with 0 0.4 so if the first line is 4 here then go on increasing with 0 0.4 the next line so that will be 4.4 4.8 then 5.2 5.6 6 the fifth line will be your 6 here then 6.4 6.8, 7.2, 7.6 and the next line will be here 8. Okay. So, this way you have to find the values of each lines. So, this was, this I have taken the table of 4 and by using that you have to uh, now plot the graph. So, 1 to 4 is 6. Now, 6 I have shown you here. It comes between 4 and 8, the middle line of 4 and 8. That is the fifth line. That will be the 6. So, this is the 6 here. Then this is again 30. So between 28 and 32 will be 30 here. Okay. Then 44, 16 and 4. Then this is 44. This is 16. And this is 4. So this way you have to find the value of each of the line as shown in the figure above. So this was your question number 9. That's all for now. If you have any query, you can drop it in the comment box. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Get the